All right, welcome back everybody. Today, this is the end result. We're gonna show you how to get Steam ROM Manager installed on Windows. This is what it'll do. It'll pull games straight into your library. It'll work with Dolphin, with Wii, it'll work with PlayStation 2, and that's what I'm doing today. So the assumption is that you already have an emulator. You've already set it up to use your controller. You've already set it up to output the correct display settings and all that good stuff. You're just tired of going in here and switching the disks manually within the emulator. You want it to all be within Steam. So what we're going to do is go to Steam ROM Manager. I'm going to leave the description links down below. Check the description. And while you're down there, hit that like and subscribe button. We're going to be using the Windows package, the MSI. If you're on Mac OS, you're going to download the DMG file. Once you've downloaded that, we're going to install and run that sucker. It's going to ask where Steam is installed. We're going to navigate to old school program file Steam. And then you should have just one user. And it's going to come blank. You got a blank Steam ROM manager. And since we're doing PS, PS2, PC, SX2, and the presets up here, just search for what you're doing, Dolphin, PC, SX2, what have you. And you'll get a kind of good starting point. First thing we need to do is tell it where we have our ROMs, the folder where all the all the ROMs are. It's going to vary per system. So if you're coming from my Steam Steam Deck's Emmy Deck video, you'll have a different folder. We're also going to navigate to the executable file. And I'm just poking around to make sure I don't need to change anything else here. And then once you've got both the executable and the ROMs folder, you can save it. And then once we've saved it, we will test that configuration just as a sanity check. And we didn't find any games. This is because our games, it's looking for an ISO. And we do have an ISO. But it's looking for this title within the ISO folder that I've set, PS2 ISO. And the problem is I have each game inside of another folder so i need to change my parser a little bit this configuration is going to probably help you with wii games and stuff but on older titles like game boy advance and nes i just had it all all the files just in one one folder so once you've fixed the path you'll finally be able to scan your games but you're going to have to make sure all of the names match what it's scanning for. So I had to go back into my ROMs folder and make sure all the titles are good because I actually have legitimate ROMs. And then you're going to obsess over the perfect cover art for probably, I don't know, half an hour more depending on how many games you have. <laughs> when you're done with all that, make sure you've closed Steam and then saved your configuration. And now, instead of having to go to PC SS2 or Dolphin and launching the games manually, you can launch it directly from Steam. And this is awesome on the deck. So if this helped you, hit that like and subscribe button. And I'll catch you in the next one.